That brings us to the final event of this fifth duel in the pool, the men's 400 freestyle relay. And American team will feature Matt Grievers, who's had a good meet. Garrett Weber Gale will be in the second spot. Nick Brunelli in the third spot. And Ricky Behrens, who's also had an outstanding duel in the pool, will swim the anchor leg. They finished uh, with the bronze medal at the recent World Championships behind Australia and France. So the men in this event, Rowdy, have some work to do as we look forward to London, don't they? Yeah, and, and you know, when you once again, you look at a country's strength overall, you look at relays, and for me, for so many years, I've looked at the Americans as being so strong in that 400 free relay, and you, you tend to sometimes take it for granted that they're just automatically gonna win it, but we go back to Athens in 2004 with that upset, and. They've had a bumpy road ever since then. They've had some great wins, but they've also had some losses as, as well. So Europe has Cherniak, Brown, Moritzoff, and Takish as their foursome. 2005 and 2009, in those years, the U.S. won all the big titles in this race. And of course, the Lezak miracle in 2008. But it's been a little different since then as Grievers gets things going for the Americans against Konrad Cherniak of Poland. Well, it, it kind of all started in 2000 in Sydney with the Australians and what they did and upset the Americans. And you might remember Gary Hall strumming the guitar. And ever since then, it's been kind of an up and down thing with the Americans as far as winning this relay. And I know they'd like to win this and end once again on a good note. So Grievers and Cherniak very close in the first of the four legs as Garrett Weber Gale gets ready to go second for the U.S. in lane four, and Adam Brown of Great Britain swimming for Europe below him in lane five. Just nine one hundredths of a second, they're separated. Good start for the Americans, 47 flat on Grievers. That would have been in the top five in the 100 free. He didn't swim the 100 free, so the next three legs for the Americans, first, second, and fourth in the 100 freestyle. So on paper, the 100 freestyle was last night, so on paper you would think the Americans are definitely the favorite here, especially going into these last three legs. Garrett Weber Gale is in that second spot, just where he is right now in Beijing, which uh, set the table for Jason Lezak's incredible anchor leg, which won the gold. I kind of like the, the team. I kind of like the strategy of the Americans here, putting some great experience with Garrett Weber Gale on the second leg. There goes Nick Grinelli in, and again just separated by five one hundredths of a second as Grinelli goes in against Moritzov of Russia. Well, the Europeans are making it in interesting here. Forty six nine on Garrett Weber Gale, a little off when he went in the individual. He was forty six seven when he got second in the individual, so he. He was off there a little bit, and now the Europeans, this would be an upset, Dan, no question about it. This would be a huge upset. Remember, the Americans were first, second, and fourth in the 100 freestyle last night. Brunelli won the 53 earlier, returns 30 years old tomorrow, but it's a good lead by Moritzov of Russia as we get ready for the final leg. Ricky Behrens has had a breakout kind of meet here. It's going to be up to him to try to do his own little mini Lezak here. Well, he's going to have to have a breakout swim here. Boy, what a great start for Ricky Barron to pull himself right back into it. Now, it's real important not to overswim this first 50. Ricky Barron is very smart. He's a brilliant swimmer. Put the blinders on a little bit this first 50, and then go for it after that second 50, after this first next turn. Yeah, the crowd set something special immediately when Barron's got out there. And a good, a good, great from the pool as Barron's came up just about even now as they make the final turn. Barron's trying to come back on Takish. Oh, oh my God, Barron's has the lead. Barron's is going to win it for the United States. split by Barron's, 46-1. It was a little miniaturized Lezak version here at the duel. A little mini miniature Lezak and a, and a Phelpsian turn there at the end. Boy, he just came out of the water on that final turn, or the second to last turn. 
just <laughs> emerging from the water. He was almost right next to Takish when it looked like Takish had a huge lead. Boy, that evaporated, didn't it? Watch Baron start. Here he is right there, that black cap. Now, he is a good half body length to keep, keep it going, keep it going, guys. Right there, now watch, watch it. Watch what he does when he comes up, though. When he comes up out of the water, he actually comes up even with Takas, and that's what really propelled him, because he didn't have to do anything to overswim that. He just comes up out of great streamline. And then watch this last turn. He's still about a half body length lead, but boy, he gets up underneath that wave. So important. Even the two swimmers in the water, you still have that huge wave. But watch the start. This is what's so important here. Watch. See how far behind he is? But watch what he does when he comes up. Takas starts swimming right away. And look, he's almost even with him when he comes up at the very first 15 meters. And he didn't have to expend any energy there. That's what's so important about the start. And then the finish. They put it away on that last turn. But boy, what a great, great, great meet for Ricky Behrens. And once again, the United States is going to desperately need somebody like Rick Behrens. I don't even care if it's Ricky or not, but somebody else to step up on that 400 free relay next summer. <laughs> Crowd sensed it. <laughs> Brendan Hansen into it. Ryan Lochte, Amanda Beard, the whole team. <laughs> so Behrens wins the 100 free, 200 free, and he anchors the winning 400 free relay leg coming back on Team Europe to win it. Let's go back down to Andrea. What a finish for the Americans. Ricky, did you even know what was going on at the very end? Could you see how close it was? No, the, the water is so blurry right now and uh, everybody's going so fast. I had no idea where the guy was. I just put my head down, kicked out and uh, got home as fast as I could. By the way, the guys have dubbed you Mini Lezak, so that's, that's pretty good company for you oh, to nice. be in. Now, Nick, what do you have to work on? You said that there are a couple of things you already learned in this race. Yeah, absolutely. You know, my relay starts aren't, I've been the greatest. I haven't done relay starts in a while, but, you know, the race, you know, went really well for us. We got down the win. You know, we're really excited about what we did. And Garrett Weber Gale, you are the quintessential relay swimmer. What, is, what makes you so good in relays? It's Team USA, baby. You know, you just got to uh, have fun with these guys and, and greatest country in the world got to represent. And Matt, finally, you know, really speaking for everybody, at this point, looking ahead to trials, what do you work on in terms of your preparation? Uh, everything. I mean, there really is no one spe specific thing for any of us. Uh, just got to train real hard, feel some pain, and be confident in what you're doing. I think that's the biggest thing is having confidence when you're, when you're behind the blocks, and no doubts is the way to victory. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Way to finish strong. Thank you. Take care. So this duel in the pool is bookended by memorable races. First for the ladies last night in the 100, 4x100 medley relay. And then the men come back on the anchor leg, provided by Ricky Behrens for a come from behind win on Team Europe to win the final event of this 30 event duel in the pool. The Americans dominated.